My name's Charlie Martin. I'm a racing driver. When I think of the most legendary race in the world, I think of the 24 Hours of Le Mans. The chicane clatter the curbs, carry as much exit speed, try not to drop the car onto the Astrotur. It's really a huge deal for any driver to, to go and compete at this event. So the, the significance of doing that, not only as a driver, but for me obviously as a trans woman, is huge, really. You know, an opportunity to make history. Today we're at Cranfield Simulation, which is where I do all of my training away from the track. It's really the closest thing I can get to actually driving the car for real. It's a lot harder than it looks, I can, I can assure you that. Are we good to go? I was about eight years old when I first got into motorsport. I grew up wanting to be a fighter pilot and uh, that morphed into a love of cars. The year I left uni, I said to myself, this is it, I'm going to start somehow. I had no money. I saved up and bought a race car for £1,500, a Peugeot 205. And it really began for me then. I guess I was 23 years old. I reached a point at the end of 2011 where I realised I, I needed to transition. I'd look at myself in the mirror each day and I just didn't know who I was anymore. Transitioning to me was the scariest thing I could ever imagine in my life. In a sport which doesn't really have a lot of visible diversity, I, I thought people would make fun of me. I thought people would be unkind and the sport that I love would end up being the thing I hated and I couldn't bear to see that happen. So if you imagine thinking of your worst fear in your life, your biggest fear, and the hardest thing you can ever do, and then actually doing it, and it actually going really well, and coming out the other side and feeling like, wow, you know, I'm alive, I'm, I'm happy, I'm, I feel I found what I needed. That's an incredibly empowering feeling. And for me, it, it just made me feel so alive, and it made me feel like, actually, well, what next? What am I? What do I want to do now? You know, I can attempt anything. I'm not afraid of failing. I started to push myself further and further in the car, and I started to get podiums and, and drive like I'd never been able to drive before. If somebody had said to me 10 years ago, you're going to transition and be your true self, and you're going to attempt to race the 20,000 for more, I'd say, what planet are you living on? And yet now, it feels very real, and it feels very possible. Thank <laughs> you.